Okay, I'm back. Sorry about this. I'm having trouble with my computer. So let me go back to the platform. Let's see. There we are. So we're going to listen. Yeah. Okay, so the instructions say um, listen to the audio program and fill in the gaps with the correct information. Let's listen. Listen to descriptions of five people. Number them from one to five. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Pretty tall. It Two. Too so fast. Tina's 18. Okay, let me repeat it. Listen to descriptions of five people. Tall. Number them tall. from one to five. Thanks. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair. Okay, so we got here. It says he is pretty tall. Yes. Pretty tall, and he has, um, well, with that brown hair teacher, and a mustache. Teacher, Tell teacher, me. teacher. Yes. Yo le puse así mustache y no, no, me la, no me la dio como buena. Really? Let's check. Really? Okay, let me check. Oh, that's right. But that's the way you spell it. Ah, por eso no, no entendí la verdad. Mm -hmm, that is right. Oh, it's... Only you, sorry. La O, la O es está de más. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so in the next one, let me listen. Shoulder length and very curly. Teacher, pero, and pero she always wears interesting glasses. Sí, sí. What happened, Edwin? Pero estará bien, bien escrito porque, yes. bueno, yo lo puse en el traductor Y, mm -hmm. bueno, entiendo que es este bigote, algo así, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so let me double check it. A ver, déjenme okay. checarlo nuevamente. Yeah, we got both spellings. Los dos son correctos. Entonces, en este caso, en la plataforma lo han puesto solo con U, pero ambos son correctos. Ok. Solo con U o con O, U. Ok. okay. Any other question, Edwin? No sé si eh, tiene pasa. alguna otra duda con otro de los ejercicios acá. Sí, hay otro que no, no he podido. Bueno, son, son como cuatro. Eh, quiero ver okay. este... Okay, so in number two, we got Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. Ah, okay, curly. Ah, eso no. Curly. No, otra que no. You uh -huh. Okay. And then we got Rosie is pretty tall for her age. Sí, sí, eso she está has bien. long, long hair. Ajá, uh -huh. esa, okay. esa también no, no la sabía. Long. Blonde yeah. hair. Okay. Then we have Tins about 23. He is fairly short and sí, a bit correcto. heavy. And the last one is Alice is very tall. She is around 25. Oh, and she is very slim. And that will be it. Is it clear now, okay. Edwin? Do you have any other questions? Uh, mm. Eh, solamente, teacher, That's porque right. he llegado hasta el final, pero oh, okay. eh, voy a tratar de resolverlo por, por mi cuenta. All right, sure. If you have any other doubts, just let me know, okay? Okay. All right, so um, let's see. Let me just get my presentation so we can start reviewing the content for today's class.
Okay, so we are going to start with, oh my gosh, my computer isn't working today. It's so crazy. Okay. So, Teacher, tengo una, una duda. So, yes, tell me, Ana Maria. Es, normalmente nosotros tenemos clases o en todos los módulos hemos tenido hasta el jueves, sí. pero nos enviaron ese mensaje de que hoy teníamos eh, clase o reunión, podría decirse, uh -huh. porque estamos en, en medio del módulo, pero no sé si nos han cambiado la modalidad en este, en este módulo. No, lo que sucede, Ana María, es que la semana pasada iniciamos día miércoles. Entonces, eso implica que perdimos la clase del día lunes y el día martes, ¿verdad? Es por eso que tenemos okay. que reponder, reponerlas, perdón. Eh, con el viernes okay. pasado, digamos que repusimos la del día lunes y ahora estamos reponiendo la del día martes para luego quedarnos siempre de lunes a jueves, porque el curso lo estaríamos terminando el 17 de diciembre. Ah, ok, ok, está bien entonces. Gracias por aclarar. Ok. All right, so let me tell you about today's lesson objective. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. We're going to start by a reading this conversation. So let me read it once for you. And I need you to pay attention. And afterwards, you tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation. So let's see. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on yes. Pine Street. Pine oh, Street. good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is oh, one across, there the, one. across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, so do we have any questions about the conversation? Maybe not. So let me ask two volunteers to read it. Let's see. Do we have two volunteers? Me. Hector and Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay, go ahead. Mauricio, you start. Okay. Excuse me. I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And uh, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? All right. Thank you, Mauricio and Hector, for reading. And let me have one more pair to read the conversation. That would be Karen Briseida and Daniel Ocampo. Is that okay? Okay, teacher. All right, so Daniel, you start. You're Jack. Excuse me, I'm in your neighborhood. Jack is just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pin Street. Oh, good. And um, is there a long drumat near here? Well, I think I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. All right. Thank Be you. the way much. there's. Sorry, go ahead, Karen. I thought you had finished. Go ahead. By the way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center. A barbershop? Okay, thank you, Karen and Daniel. All right, I need you to repeat, please. Neighbor. 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 Moved in. 
Putin. Putin. Grocery store. Grocery store. store. Pine Street. Pine, Pine Street. Street. Laundromat. Laundromat. Near. 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 Across from. Across, Across from. from. By the way. By the, By, way. The way. By the way. Okay, so as you see here in the conversation, we are talking about different places in town. And let's see, first of all, in order to talk about places in town, we need to know the prepositions. So I think you have already studied those. We're just going to review them. And the first one we have is on. For example, uh -huh. on. you say um, the supermarket. It's on, it's on the mall. Oh, in that case, we should say in the mall because it's inside. So let's just mention, um, for example, the name of a street. Um, let's say Pine Street again. So the supermarket is on Pine Street. On, sobre, esta sobre esta calle or sobre esta avenida, right? Then we got next to. Can you make an example using next to? Anybody? Next to, okay. Uh, the bank is next bank. to the police station. It's next to the police station. Okay. Then we have near or close to. What could be an example the using near? Close to is también se refiere a cerca. A yeah, near. it's the same thing. They are synonyms. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, so let's say the cinema is near a park. Or we could also use close to in the same sentence by saying the cinema is close to mm. park. So it's just the same thing. Then we have across from or opposite. Can you make a sentence using those? Any ideas? Mm. Let's say the gas. Okay, the gas station. Is across from Pine Street. From Pine Street. Okay. And we could also use opposite in the same sentence. It would be the gas station is opposite Pine Street. Okay, next one is in front of, let's say the bus station is in front of the bus station is in front of the mall. Then we have in back of or behind, what can we say in those cases? Any ideas, any examples using in back of or behind? Let's say the restaurant is behind the cafe. Or in the same sentence, you could also use in back of by saying the restaurant is in back of the cafe. Okay, then we have between. Can somebody make an example using between? Entre. Exactly. The, the gym is between the, the police station 
Mm -hmm. And the coffee shop. And the coffee shop. <laughs> okay, and the last one on the corner of. Let's make an example. The shoe store. The shoe store. Is, is on the corner of. In the corner of. Main Street. Main Street. Okay, excellent. All right, now I need you to repeat on. On. Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Near. 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 Close to. Close to. Across from. Across from. 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 Opposite. 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 In front of. In front of. In, front of. In back of. In back, In back, of. back of. Behind. Behind. Between. 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 On the corner of. On the, the corner, corner of. of. Okay, so those are the propositions we got. Now let's practice by by using the structure. Is there a? Yes, there is one. It's. So let me get the map. That's one. So there we have some different places. I'm going to ask you for a specific one, but uh, first of all, let me ask you, can you read what the, the houses or the buildings say? say? Yeah. Yep, okay. Yes. All right, perfect. So tell me, is there a public library in the city? Public library, yes. Yes, there is. Okay, where is it? Uh, next to a gas station. It's next to the gas station. Okay, another one. Is there a post office in the city? Yes. yes where is yes. it? Where? On, on the corner. Is on the corner of the First Avenue. Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. In Main Street. In Main Street. So, or can be the post office is in front of the park. Exactly, it's in front of the park or it's across from the park. We could also say that the post office is on Main Street. Okay, now tell me, is there a uh, bank in the city? Yes. 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 yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. And where is it? Is in the front, in front of, is in front in of the Kim Plaza of Hotel. It's behind. Okay. okay. All right, in this case, we could say it's in front of or it's across from. Behind sería cuando están pegaditos. Um, yeah, to say oh, that okay. something is behind. All right, now tell me, is there yeah, behind, a drugstore? Behind, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Que behind no es detrás de. Yes, detrás de. Ah. That's the meaning. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, so Thank tell you. me, is there a drugstore in the city? Yes. Where is yeah. it? Where? I don't see. Oh, it's over here. I'm just pointing to it. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, it's what can the queen of the groceries and top shops. Exactly, it's between the grocery and top shoes. Okay, very good. So let me go back to the presentation and let's continue with there is and there are. 
So um, what we need to know about this is that we use there is for the singular nouns, for the singular forms, and there are is for plurals, two or more things. Here I have some examples. There is a gas station on the corner. There is one bus station on Main Street. There is a restaurant near the bank. And then with the plurals, we got, um, let's see, Ana Maria, can you help me to read the examples, please? Repeat, please. Can you help me to read the examples, please? Un ejemplo. Eh, a leer los ejemplos. Eh, there are some stores on Second Avenue. Okay. Continue. There are a amusement parks in Florida. Okay, next one. There are beautiful places in El Salvador. Thank you, Ana Maria. So as you say, we use there is for talking about only one thing. There are for talking about two or more things. And then we got one. And we use it in this kind of structures. For example, is there a mall near here? Yes, there's one next to the park. Yes, there's one next to the park. So here, as you see, we do not um, repeat the mall, right? We only say there's Yo one. Next example, can you help me to read it, Sergio? Yes. There is one near the forest. Okay, thank you. And the last example, Andrea Araceli. Is there a bakery shop in San Marcos? Yes, there's one on Con Street. Con Street, okay, very good. Thank you, Andrea. So as you see here, we use one in order to indicate that uh, we are um, assuring that there is what was asked for, but we do not repeat it. In here, we do not say there's a mall, we say there's one. We do not say there's a lake, we say there's one only. Then we got um, some and any. So we use some for affirmative sentences. For example, in the sentence, there are some buses over there, some buses. Also, we have this example. Stephanie, can you help me to read it, please? Okay. Uh, there are some buses over there. There are some parks in San Salvador. There are some barber shops in Santa Marta. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. So remember that the meaning of some is alguno, al, algunos, algunas, right? And then we got yeah. in the negative form, any. That one is used for negative and interrogative sentences. And we use it in sentences as there isn't any bank near here. Luciano, can you help me to read the other examples, please? Okay. <clears throat> uh, neg negative and interrogative sentence. Uh, there, uh, there is not any abandoner here. There are, are not any factory in this R. Area. Are, are they uh, any grocery store around here? Okay. Are there any cinema near here? Thank you. So as you see, we use some in affirmative sentences and any in negative and interrogative sentences. So um, we say, for example, there are some buses over there. Hay algunos buses ahí. And there isn't any bank near here. No hay ningún banco cerca or cerca de aquí. And then we use it also in questions. Are there any cinemas near here? Hay algún cinema, algún cine cerca de acá? Okay, so now this is the work we are going to do. We are going to describe our school or university. 
or our workplace. How come you're going to say, for example, there are many rooms or many different offices. There are, um, what else? There are many trees around the place. And there are two floors or three floors, just you name it, okay? You just have to describe your school or university or your workplace. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes for you to work together with your classmates. Is that okay? Are we clear okay. about it? Okay, yes. just remember to use there is and there are, and also you can ask and answer questions. Okay. All right, there you go. Perdón, me ayuda. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, teacher. And can commence. <laughs> Uh, my university is uh, Nueva San Salvador. Uh, it's located um, on, creo que esa es la Avenida Roosevelt. Yes. Okay. Uh, a front in the bank in the Cuscatle Cuscatlan Bank. Uh, some, como era lo de some time, some, como era lo de algunos y. Uh, there are uh, uh, any is some. Papa. Uh, there are some uh, um, parks there here or here uh, in the park it's Cuscatlan, Cuscatlan Park. Is no, my work is across. Creo que sí, across. Uh, uh, across from. Across. From, is across cruzando. from from la prensa gráfica. Uh, is it right? Is that? Yes, the sentence is correct. Ah, okay. ¿Qué más? Solo eso sigo. Quiere continuar. Okay. Aquí, my work is on road to La Libertad Port. Um, I work in a building with five floors. 
uh, behind the building are a big lot park o lot parking creo que sería uh, parking lot ah, there okay. is a parking lot ah, parking lot parking lot Gasolinera. Sí, está, está la capillas memorales. Enfrente está la gasolinera enfrente de las capillas memorales, pero la universidad sigue después de la de la funeraria. Pero okay. que la, la gasolinera podría estar across from across from mm -hmm. the gas station mm -hmm. the gas station is across from the university mm -hmm. okay what else <laughs> Uh, restaurant? No. No? No pupuserías ahí enfrente. Ah. There are many pupuserías around there. <laughs> Pupusas play? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or pupusas restaurants, we could call them. Pupusas <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay. Teacher, how do you oh. say funeraria? Funeraria. Let me check it because I don't really know it. Let me check it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's a mortuary. It says mortuary. Let me write it in the chat so you know it. There you have mortuary. Mortuary. Uh, edificio abandonado is abandoned, but how do you how do you abandoned? Abandoned. Abandoned building. Okay. Okay, so we're going back in a couple of seconds. Okay. Okay, so let's continue by listening to some of the descriptions. Let's see, um, Mauricio, what can you tell me about your school, university, or workplace? Okay, my workplace. I work in a complex, a complejo. Okay. A complex, and the complex are three buildings. All right. There are there are three buildings, and I work in a building too. Um, we have that there, there are too many desks in the office. Okay. And there is there is one bathroom. All right. Only Continue. Only. Only that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, very well. Thank you, Mauricio, for sharing. Now let me ask Sergio, what can you tell us about your workplace or school or university? Uh, me teacher. Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to speak about my university. Uh, my university is Dr. Andres Bello uh, to be uh, in front of uh, Coffee San Pedro between the 
Avenue eh, Roosevelt. Eh, my university is a little bit, a little bit eh, pequeña, and there are a lot classroom, and there are there is a there are some árboles, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Trees, and pequeño, trees. small. A small. And just that, teacher. Okay, thank you, Sergio. All right, so let's continue by talking about how much and how many. Well, here we have, um, we use the word much and how much in questions for non-count nouns. For example, in the case of noise, we cannot count that, right? Therefore, we need to use much. There is much noise. Then we have the example, there isn't much pollution. There is much fresh, fresh air. And we also use how much for questions, like how much does your apartment cost? On the other side, we have many and how many. We use those for the count nouns, the things that we can count. For example, there are many trees around. There are many shops on 4th Avenue. There are many police stations in Lakeville. How many rooms are there in your house? Now, let's make some more examples. Tell me a sentence using much. And how much money do you have? Okay, how much money do you have? Excellent. Another example using much? Um, how much water up in the sea? How much water? is in the sea or is there in the sea? Okay, very good. Now let's make some examples using many. And how many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? Another one, please. How many animals are there? How many animals are there? Excellent. Okay, now in order to practice, I'm going to send you again, I'm going to send you back to the breakout rooms. And I want you to ask and answer the, the questions I have here. Are there many restaurants near your house? Is there a movie theater in your city? Are there any schools in your neighborhood? Is there much noise in your neighborhood? Are there many shops in your city? Is there a mall around your house? Are there any cafes in your city? And is there a library in your city? So let me send you to breakout rooms for you to ask and answer those questions. And I'm going to send this, the questions to the chat here in Zoom. Okay, there you go. Please ask and answer the questions. There are many restaurants near your house. Karina. Excuse me, repeat the question, please. Are there many restaurants near your house? Maybe five restaurants near my house. Okay. Is there a movie theater in your city? Yes, there are. 
See the mark? <laughs> yes. Um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo que se llama el otro? Cinepolis. Okay. Are there any school in your neighborhood? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes. Uh, do you live in Marriott City? <laughs> <laughs> Algo así. <laughs> yes, from Marriott City we have Pasha Marriott, Larambia, Multiplaza. No, no yo vivo en Napa. Vivo en Napopa, pero hay Ay, cuatro vaya. centros comerciales. Ah, ok. Yes, yes. yes. Ay, yo también soy de acá, de Apopa. Sí, hay, hay mucho, pero el más, el más nuevo es Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo. Y está chivo. No he ido ahí todavía. Sí, uh, está bonito. Sí. Yes. Sí, yes. It's a beautiful mall. Cobran yes. el parqueo. Sí, va. Yes. Sí. A big, yes. A big. A, a, big, park. a big park. Yes. Hay, no. hay un hay un sótano. Hay, ah, hay este sí. Hay como un, un sótano que, que te va a dejar a, al otro lado de la calle. Como al otro lado de la calle ahí, ahí está un, un gran parqueo de que siempre pertenece al Plaza Mundo. Ah, ok. Sí. Yes. Yes. Uh, Edwin, uh -huh. are, are there any schools in your neighborhood? Yes, there is, there are many schools in my schools. neighborhood. Sí. Okay. Yes. Public or private? private. Uh, de los dos. <laughs> there, there, there are Both. public and en private Okay, just in a couple of minutes, let me explain about the, the midterm test. Remember that today or tomorrow we have to complete the midterm test and we should have completed all section one and three by now. So the midterm test starts with a listening exercise where you have to listen to the conversations. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations listen and check the correct answers. So here you have the listening. I recommend you to listen the most three times. And then uh, here you have some statements that you have to complete by choosing the right answer. And some, other, uh, some others are questions. Then in the second part, we have to complete the, uh, the conversations and the instruction says complete the, the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. So that is about questions with how. So you complete them by using how long, how good, how often, or how well. And then we have a second part that one is is done by complete by choosing the correct answer. For example, here, did you stay or stayed? You select the correct answer and then you submit it. In the third part, we have to choose the correct answer. Here you have a statement and we have a blank. We need to choose the correct word. Then we have rewrite the scrambled sentences. So you have to put those sentences in the right order. 
And our next part is a reading. A reading exercise. You have to read Ruth's letter, then check out true statements. So here it's just a true false exercise. You read and you select true false. Yo ya le había alistado la maleta, pues si para que me atraer. With your microphones. <laughs> Okay, and then that will be it for the midterm test. So please, okay. um, I need you to complete the, the midterm test if you have not done so. And remember to just continue practicing in the platform, okay? So that will be all for today's okay. class. Thanks for your uh, participation. The, the no. midterm is must be complete uh, tomorrow. Yeah, by tomorrow you should have completed all sections one, two, and three, including the midterm test. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's right. All right. See you on Monday. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.